Hi, internet viewers. Uh, my name is Frank Rauscher. Uh, I am going to show you how to set up a base with the rock that we created, which was this one here. It was made out of wood. And I want to show you how I uh, attach these to a wooden base that I picked out. And I also picked out some uh, stones that uh, I found that I'm going to surround it with, uh, which will make everything look like it's realistic. Then I'm also going to show you how to put, uh, I'm going to uh, put uh, glue all around on the base and glue everything down, and then we'll put some sand in there so it looks like we have a bottom to a, a river or something like that. So uh, I'm going to... Uh, pause uh, this for a second and uh, uh, this video and then I will show you from the, the top looking down uh, what the whole base looks like and the stones and I'm going to try to hopefully uh, remember all where all the stones were lo located and I'll uh, show you what it looks like before I glue it on and then afterwards and then uh, I'll do segments of this. Uh, first, I'm going to glue uh, the rocks down uh, and and the, the wooden stone that we created as well. And then uh, put the sand on. I will let that set for a while. And then I'll come back and I'm going to also show you how to add uh, the grasses that would normally grow at the bottom of uh, some of the rivers and things like that and uh, try to make everything look authentic before we start attaching uh, the otter itself. Okay, so bear with me a second. Okay, having a little difficulty with the video today, but hopefully this is gonna work out. Here's the base I picked. The base is probably about six inches in diameter, but you can make them bigger. I wouldn't make them any smaller. Uh, the one piece of wooden stone that we made was this one here, and I'm going to put that one right there. And then I'm going to move these stones the way I have around here so I can put them back the same way. So I'm going to try to surround them the way I had it because I thought that was a nice arrangement. Now I have a, a wooden base here and I have what they call, uh, it's called the tacky glue. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna pour it on generously here. Then I'm going to spread it around. And try to get this surrounded in this area here. I don't want to go all the way out to the edge, unless you want to. Uh, and I'll show you what I'm trying to achieve here. Uh, let me get this out of the way here a second. Put that in there. I'm going to pick up this piece of wood and I'm gonna push that down onto that so that it glues both top and bottom then I'm realizing I probably need a little more glue around here so I'm just gonna add a little bit more without trying to get it onto the big piece of wood here so I'm just moving that out a little bit more and I will probably expand on this a little bit too when I go to uh, put the sand on as well. So let's leave it at that. Now I'm going to try to pick this up and put it right in there. Okay. I'm going to pick this one up. That one in there. Let's see if I got it good enough. I may just get 
get some glue. In fact, what I think I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of these rocks here, and carefully turn these over. Yep, not what I wanted to do, but we'll work with it. And get that in there like that. Then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put a, a glob of glue on a piece of paper here so I can readily just get some and paint the bottom of it like this. Just to make sure we have the glue on the bottom. I'll place that in there. Then I'm gonna get some more glue on the bottom of this one. Place that in there. And then I'll get this one. some more on the bottom on this one. Tuck that one in there. And then I'll get a little more and I'll place it on this rock just to make sure I have enough underneath there. And I will place that in there. Now, I'm gonna pick up a little of the glue and come out beyond the stone slightly and dab some more glue beyond the boundary of those stones. And what I have done that you don't see here is I have some glue on a piece of paper that I'm just dabbing as I go. And sometimes just squirting it out of the tube gives you too much. So I'm just going to go nice and easy on this. Squirt out a little bit more. And I get it on a brush. In the brush I can sort of control where I want the glue to come out a little bit further than the stone itself. And I'll show you in a second here what I'm trying to achieve. Looks like I got enough around, so let me quit there. Now, what I'm going to try to do, this will be my front that I want to mount the otter onto eventually here, which will be like putting the otter right in about there, but I'll show you that later. Now, I have sand here and I have a little cup. And what I'm going to do is sprinkle the sand in there and all around, get it into all the nooks and crannies that are around the stone, down in there, and in here, and here, and in there. And I'm gonna get a little bit more. I'm gonna make sure I got plenty of sand all over, because I don't wanna come back and revisit this and make sure I got enough sand on everything I glued up. So, I'm going to put an excess of uh, sand all the way around, and hopefully this will all bind in there. So, what I'm going to do now is let that sit and dry, and it's going to take maybe a couple hours. So, uh, what I'm going to do is just let this sit. I will come back on this same video and continue on and I will show you how this just adheres the, the, 
the sand will adhere to uh, the glue and the rocks will adhere to the base and everything else. And then when we go in again, then this main rock will solidify with that glue onto the base that I have a sturdy base that I can mount the otter on top of. So I'm going to let this dry and we will come back uh, at, on this video and uh, we will proceed on and I will add some grasses in here. Uh, and But first what we'll end up doing I think is probably I'm going to show you how to uh, mount uh, the otter, which will be uh, in the paws in the front here, because it's actually going to sit right on the stone, like my hands here. Is, they're going to touch the stone, and that's how I'm going to try to uh, uh, attach it. And uh, I will show you that in a little bit. So I'll see you on, on the extension of this video. Well, we're back again, working on the base. I put the sand all around and glued it with the rocks in place as well. And this is our wooden rock right here. Uh, it seemed to hold. I took all the excess sand off, and that's what you want to try to do. If you had some bald spots, I would add a little more of the glue and it could be white glue and then sprinkle some uh, sand on there. But that's what I wanted to achieve. Now, the thing we want to do now is to mount uh, the otter and that would go like this. I want to try to balance and let me tilt this a little bit so you can see it better. I want to balance the otter so it looks like it's attached to the rock like it's swimming by and it just happens to get its paws right on there. So what I've done is I've come along and I put a dot right here for the paw and then I laid the, the otter over here and I attached and I put a dot so I can show where I want to attach it on a rock on each pole. So we have a landing point on the rock now that I have established. So what I want to do now is to put this off to the side and I'm going to get the otter and I have a, a burr uh, you could do this with a real fine drill, too. And what I want to do is come in and drill up into uh, the paw here without coming through to the other side. So I'm going to take an angle like this on the underneath side and drill in. Oh, about maybe a quarter of an inch in, and I'm going to do that on this side, too. Following the direction like that. So, I sort of went in that direction so I can get a piece of wire. What I'm going to use on that wire is I have this florist wire. It's 18 gauge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pair of pliers and I'm going to bend from the end here about a quarter of an inch or so. Well, we can adjust this to go. And then I want to try to go into the base about maybe three eighths. So I'm going to come down and cut about three eighths off. So what you end up with is a piece of wire that's about a quarter of an inch long and three eighths this way. And I'm gonna make two of them. So one for each paw. So I'm gonna come in here and this can vary. It's just, we may have to trim some of this too. I don't know how far I 
drilled that hole. I don't want to drill it forever because then uh, I uh, may not have the depth for the length in there. So I'm going to try fitting one of these in there. And I don't even know if I have the right diameter hole yet. And I don't think I do. So I'm going to come back with the burr again. It's good if you can get like a 18 gauge drill. That may simplify things. I'm just going to try to open this up a little bit more. And hope that that'll do it. So I'll pick up a piece of wire here. I'm going to see if I can slide it into the hole. I should have used the drill, but. I had that handy, so I slid that, and it's not going to take the whole quarter, so it's not like I need a lot of strength to hold this, so I'm going to cut this a little bit less. It's not quite an eighth of an inch, but it's getting there, so I want to try to attach... You can see what I have in here. I'm going to pull this out. It's a little over an eighth of an inch uh, in length. And I'm pushing that in. Okay, like that. So now I got that almost a straight piece of wire coming down now. Now I'm going to try this on the other side. So I'm going to just trim this just to get started on this. Get it down to a reasonable size. I think a quarter of an inch was just a little bit more than I expect it. And that seems to do it. Okay, so I have the wire bent like that. Now, what I need to do is spot this and see where that wire is going to attach on here. And see if that will do it. Let me get one wire first. I'm going to drill the first little dot I have right here. I put a pencil mark there and a pencil mark there. So I'm going to try drilling that in on that spot. And I'm going to go into the wood this way so I can have a good contact point. I'm going to go straight in. Mm -hmm. I think I just realized something. I'm going to have to glue this down again because it did not grab. I hope the stones are okay. But I just noticed the wood is still moving. So I will drill this side as well. Now, and before I go further, I'm going to have to hold this wood down because I don't think it's going to balance. I'm going to try sliding. Let me just do this. I have some other wire here. I'm going to use that as a sample first just to see if I could just make it easier to come right in here. And Okay, so... It'll take that much. Let's see if I can go the same distance here. Uh, because it's not a drill I used and a burr, it tends to maybe sometimes not to get the right diameter. So that means I have to go in more. So, But if you have a real tiny drill, that would be perfect for it. There you go. So that went in pretty deep. So I'm assuming I could, I'm going to apply this wire into that one and this one into there. And then I'm going to push down. Let me turn this around so you can see it. This will go right down. This is not going in as easy because I probably don't have the right angle on the wire. And this came out on that side. So 
Let me take this out. I'm going to bend this a little bit more. So I think that may be the problem was the angle. So I'm putting this back in for this one. All the way in. And then this one decides to stay on the rock. And I'll put that one in. There we go. Get this in here. Okay, now I'm going to try attaching this to here and this to here. Let's see if I can get this to go straight down on there. Fairly easy. I'm not there yet. So you can see, you, you can't see the wire at all, and that's the trick. So that's what we're trying to achieve right there, is that we don't see the wire. And if I put this back in place, like so, now the otter looks like he's swimming and just pushing off on that spot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here and uh, glue this down tight so that when we come back I will show you how to do the grasses and we will also glue this in. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> 